In this video, I'm gonna be talking all about the double axes we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. I'm gonna be talking all about their features, maybe a little bit of their historical origins, who uses them, and at the end, I'm gonna to put together a short montage of people training with the double axes. Hi, my name is Doug Swift. I've been doing martial arts for the past 34 years and I've been the owner of Enzo Martial Arts for the past 17 years. If you like this video, click the little icon, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos and updates from Enzo Martial Arts. So let's get into this video and learn all about the double axes we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. Now over the past six months or so, I've been making videos on a lot of the weapons we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts and quite a lot of them have kind of historical links to farming tools and whatnot. Now, axes, hmm, you, know, you know, there will obviously be axes that are used for farming, but there's also ones that are used in, in kind of battle as well, like with armies. So I'm not sure how much the, the Kung Fu axes are based from farming or whether they're based from battlegrounds something like an axe which is basically a very sharp edge on quite a heavy lump of metal is something just appears in cultures all over the world it's a very very useful tool for just splitting wood and you know you know general just smashing things and whatnot so something like that will probably appear in in sort of battlegrounds all over the world and would have evolved separately so yeah, this type of weapon, I don't know whether this has evolved from farming, you know, general work tools, or whether it's something that's been designed specifically for fighting sort of in battlegrounds or, you know, personal protection or whatever. Now, something this shape, however, is most likely to be designed for fighting specifically. This type of shape is not that not going to be that useful now you can see how kind of like a hatchet style thing for chopping small bits of wood you know is not that far away from this but to be honest this has got to a point where it's stylized enough that actually it's going to just be a kind of fighting based weapon the fact that there's two of them as well means that definitely is for fighting you know you very very rest rarely see people chopping wood with two things i would say that actually this style or design of weapon that these these axes has been taken from is going to be really from a fighting based thing rather than farming but obviously you know axes will have that historical references to farming anyway so i've called them double axes now i'll probably use like kung fu axes shaolin axes wushu axes like that phrase is kind of interchangeable and it's because there are different styles that use these so like obviously you see these in shaolin like popping up not very common you know it's a pretty rare weapon you could class this as a fairly advanced weapon and it's just because people don't tend to get onto these that, that often. It's not a weapon that we particularly sell a lot, and that's purely based on the fact that not a lot of people know the forms training with these, know the techniques, so therefore not a lot of students are gonna be getting onto this. This is more of a weapon that you might specialize in, or for instance, if your teacher wants you to specifically learn that so it, the, it gets taught to students, they might cherry pick you to be able to train with axes. So yeah, Shaolin and Wushu are probably the most common styles where you're trained with these. But like I said, axes are such a common weapon sort of within communities that actually it probably pops up in Shaolin all over the place, I think. Um, yeah, I've definitely seen them used in Southern styles here and there. But like I say, it's so uncommon that you see them being used at all. They tend to be the things that you see propped up on the wall and one guy knows how to use them. So let's just have a look at how these are made up. Now they've got the very, very traditional wood, which has been painted maroon. You see this a lot in like Shaolin weapons. Very, very common to have this. And it's got the nice metal end cap on the end, same as the Tiger Forks, I guess, which you can use for like butting and hitting the end, make sure the wood doesn't break. Now at the end, on the other end, you've got sort of the business end of the weapon. You've got this very, very big ax head. Now for, for Wushu and Shaolin, these are pretty lightweight. They are actually hollow. So it's quite thin metal, which is then chrome to make it nice and shiny. And it is nice and hollow. If that size of head, and you can see the thickness of the back of it, 
was solid steel that would be incredibly heavy to wield about it would like in all honesty your forms would look so labored and difficult you know this size of axe head you wouldn't really use like for a like farming for actually just swinging about all day if this would be incredibly heavy maybe in battle but it's the type of thing that you just have one swing with and just hope that it hope that it lands otherwise you've got to pick the thing up again also at the end it's got this sort of spearhead style spike on the end and you know that's definitely a battleground thing nice tapered spearhead again for like jabbing if you wanted to now the whole thing is actually screwed so it does screw together um, and you can you can make sure that's nice and tight and you can you know adjust it if you want but that does mean that you can get a really nice fit in and occasionally you know that will unscrew a bit if you're training with them a lot but it's nice and simple to just be able to screw it up so it's nice and tight and of course it's worth note mentioning that you do get a pair when you buy these so you get two weapons for your money now i haven't actually seen people training with single axes of this length in kung fu it always seems to be the double axes i have seen sort of in in magazines or in people's displays the long like long shaft on on the axe with a single axe head and you could probably transfer this because it does unscrew to be in to have a long shaft on it if you want it however i've never actually seen anyone do a long axe form i'm sure they are are out there but you know with all the youtube rabbit holes that go down facebook rabbit holes i've never actually seen someone doing a single axe form um so yeah double axes seems to be the the more common out of the two in terms of the axe forms so I'll just give you an idea of a few of the dimensions of the axes. Now I'll put all the dimensions online. So if you want to know more information, it will all be there on our website. But the whole length is about 31 inches, 79 centimeters, someone like that. So a really good kind of swinging length. In terms of the axe head, you know, it's around nine inches or 23 centimeters, something like that. But like I say, go on the website and check out all the dimensions if you want them. So at Enzo Martial Arts, we do pride ourselves on stocking quite a wide range of Kung Fu weapons. So as well as double axes, we also have monk spades, monkey staffs, the very popular waxwood staffs, and the almost as popular Kung Fu spears, three section staffs, and the metal fans. So as promised at the beginning of the video, here is a short montage of people training with the Kung Fu axes. Thanks very much for watching. I hope it was useful. I hope you learned loads about the double axes we have at Enzo. If you like this video, click the little icon, subscribe to this channel, and get all the latest videos and updates from Enzo Martial Arts. Thanks very much, and I'll see you soon. Cheers!